for the good guys, it's your boy Spider Menace, aka D Man. Your man, I'm sitting here with my sister, my day one, the one who holds it down for me, my co host, Daria. Say, what's up, Daria? What's up, Daria? NXT TakeOver Portland. Oregon. Okay. I just thought it rhymed. Like the like Common when he was when he was like rhyming the basketball all star game, I thought that was cool. So I thought maybe I just put in like when you were like NXT Portland, Oregon. I'll, I'll just take it. I'll take it. I'll take it because I can't tell you nothing anyway. What does that mean? I'm just saying I can't tell you nothing anyway. <laughs> anyway, we had NXT take over Portland. We had big boys bounding. We had Charlotte acting churlish. Oh, she acted a fool. And we had a heel turn that happened, but instead of spoiling a lot of things right here, we're going to get into this. But first, before we do that, we'd like to also remind you, if you want to help this channel continue to grow and thrive, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like any of our content that we have. We got a lot of content on the site. And uh, also, you know, drop a comment down below because we do like to hear from you, our Kaiju faithful. Now let's get it going. As we said, NXT TakeOver, they're trying it, they're trying to take over, <clears throat> excuse me, mm -hmm. trying to take over on a Sunday. First of all, I don't like that. Not at all. No, I didn't like, I don't think, I think a lot of people didn't really like that. Nah, man, because like the whole point of having a good takeover is like you watch a takeover on Saturday night, you have a whole day to decompress on that Sunday. Right. You ain't got to go to work. You ain't got to get up early. Yeah. You ain't got to do none of that. But here it's like, hey, we have takeover. This is amazing. You can't have this much this level of amazingness on a Sunday night. It yeah. works It works for the WWE pay-per-view because there's a lot of filler. Yeah. And, and you could just be like, okay, well, I mean, like, I can miss some of this stuff. But, like, you yeah. can't do that on a takeover. No. You got to tune in on a takeover. Yeah. And not only that, Monday is Monday Night Raw. Again, that's just... That's too much. That's too much. And that's we don't much. even know what Raw is going to do. So... It's gonna is yeah. Raw is gonna gear you up for uh Super Showdown uh next Thursday. See? Now yeah. now you got more high energy bullshit. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you do. You do. But NXT Takeover Portland was an amazing, an amazing, absolutely amazing show. It's a it's a must see. Just like most of like all of their takeovers ever since I wanna say like two thousand sixteen, where every single takeover is like a must see event. Something like yeah. something along those lines. Um but we started off the night with Keith Lee and uh, and Dijakovic, Dijakovic, Di however geez. you want to pronounce his name. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to gush too much about this match because I want you. This is a must see. You have to go see. This How match. can they go see this match? It was a pay per view, D. It's Explain on the network. To... It's on the network. What if they don't have the network? Well, then you you sol, or unless you you know find a a less than scrupulous way to. No, catch it. can't say that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, but like this is a must see match right here because these big boys was they were not playing out there. They were coming for their necks. Now, if you've ever seen the Keith Lee uh, Die Jack match uh, outside of WWE, this is really uh, a lot more of a standard fare. But it never felt boring. It never felt like it was the same level of storytelling. Mm -mm. Uh, this was some some amazing uh, action in the ring. It took a little bit to get started, but that was that was because they knew how to slowly ramp things up yeah. during the match. And once they, you know, put the brakes off, pull pull the little you know brake chocks off, and just let it's themselves like, roll go. downhill. It was it was crazy. Yeah, it was basically throwing motherfuckers at other motherfuckers. That literally was I, the match. I, I love your poetry. That I, that I was the match. It, it was the match. That literally was it. I mean, uh, again, don't want to spoil too much, but Jesus Christ, there was a corkscrew yes. moon salt and topes and planches on the chairs. And, and by the way, they were all caught by each other. Yes, which, they're catching motherfuckers. Yes. Catching dudes. This, this Just is a like match. I said. But uh, uh, this, this, was, this was for Keith, this was Keith Lee's first uh, title defense for the North American, uh, NXT North American Championship. Uh, he ends up outlasting uh, uh, Dajakovic. Uh, it was, as I said, a great match. Definitely a must-see. There's a lot of spots in this match that you're just going to go, holy crap. And this was the perfect way to start off in NXT yeah. just to let you know that, like, hey, we're ready for this. And it really makes it feel like this is a third uh, brand instead of just a developmental uh, yeah. uh, uh, system just yeah. for the rest. And, and we'll get to that at the end of the show. Oh, yes, we will. 
Well, uh, next we had Dakota Kai versus Tegan Knox. Uh, Again, it's it's hard to follow up a match like that, uh, like that, with anything. Uh, uh, to be fair, in, in, any match that that yeah. follows uh, Keith Lee and Dajakovic was was going to be having an, an issue, and but they did so beautifully. This was a blood feud. Uh, oh God, like their yeah, street fight. Uh, to be quite honest, uh, Dakota Kai and Tegan Knox, they both needed this match. Yes, they did. They both they needed did. this match because when they both came into NXT, they basically branded them as the new Bailey. You could say. Uh, yeah, I mean, at least at least Dakota Kai had that. Had, yeah, uh, really had that. Uh, had that look about her. Had yeah, that, had that style and, and the about her. And I didn't really see too much as to where Dakota Kai would go or Tegan Knox would go with that. Yeah, uh, and I was scared that they were going to get lost in the shuffle because they're actually pretty good wrestlers. In a, in a way, they were lost in the shuffle. Yeah, and even with this feud, they were kind of lost in the shuffle of up until like the past couple of weeks. Right. Um. They they they, all, they were the B storyline for the women. Yeah. Uh, and without a title to go for, uh, without a secondary title to go for, it was a little bit. They they had a lot going against them. Yeah. Had a lot going against them. Uh. But the past couple of weeks, they've been you know ramping everything up. This match was definitely something that Tegan Knox needed. It's definitely something that Dakota Kai needed. Uh. Just to really solidify themselves as incredible talents in, yes. in NXT and in WWE in general. Um, there was a lot of, a lot of high, high pain. I don't know why I, I say high painful. It, uh, that's not a word. So it's not a, it's not a phrase. High painful. High painful. Uh, there was a lot of intense spots. Very lot. In the, uh, very lot. Yeah, very lot. <laughs> Just like you're high painful. <laughs> very lot. There, there was a lot. There was a lot of great spots in this match. Uh, this was this was not about the sweet science. This was not about you know moves and holds and and Mauro Ronaldo going like, oh, he's doing a a rest hold. No, there, there was no. No, there was no called moves. It was just they were kicking each other to death. Yeah. This was a match where these two kicked each other to death. Yeah. Uh, but then we had, damn, I can't remember her name. Uh, she was the cowgirl yeah, in May Young Classic. I, I, I cannot remember her name. No, but she's one to watch. But anyway, she comes in and interrupts this match at the end, which I guess this is this was kind of necessary because um, Dakota Kai needed to win this. She, she, she did. needed to come out on top of this. Yeah, like, she we, did. we said this in our in our predictions. Yeah. That like if if Tegan Knox gets this win. Uh, there's nowhere that for this feud to go, and right. this this needs to be like a Champa Gargano situation type of thing where yeah Dakota Kai just needs to win just to like just like to keep it going and yeah. keep the feud going because there's 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 a resolution when a Tegan Knox wins right. when Dakota Kai wins there's still the chase yeah and that was that was perfect but the only problem was like she comes in. And like everybody's like, who are you? Yeah. And even the like even even our Discord chat uh, that we were in, uh, yeah, it was like, who is this? Who is this? And we yeah. had to we had to rack our brains. It was like, <coughs> oh yeah, that's old chick that had like the cowboy cowgirl. Yeah, 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 yeah. It made yeah. Up. She was actually pretty decent. I mean, like I liked her. I yeah. was I was wondering where she was, but I now I, I guess we figured it out. Figured out uh, where she is. So I didn't even mind that she interrupted the match. I thought it made it more of a story. Uh, story. Made it more of a storytelling type deal. Yeah, there was, there was a little extra story. Because yeah. now, now we not only got Dakota Kai getting the win and Tegan Knox going to continue to try to get her redemption, we also now got what's the situation going on between these other two. So, like, it, it's keeping everything going, keeping yeah. everything fresh, and I like that. Yeah. Uh, we follow that up with, uh, dang, I can't remember, what was, it, what was the next? We had a tag team match? Uh, no, that wasn't no. next. We had uh, Finn, Finn Balor we right and into Finn Johnny Balor Gargano. And Johnny Gargano. Yeah. Yes, thank you. See, this is why I got you around here. Because I miss everything. If I hadn't had my uh, neck screwed on, I'd, I'd lose my head. If, if I didn't have it screwed on. I, Johnny know. Gargano and well, anyway, Finn Balor. Uh, this was also, like, everything in this match is like, for the first three matches, everything was, like, spot on. Yeah. Uh, but again, uh, for Finn, it took a little while for us to care. For this match, and it I think they did it on purpose bit for us to care because it just seemed like a standard match until you know shit got real. Yeah, and, and I'm going to say I think they did that on purpose. I mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Put I think it they were them. trying to get us to kind of calm down a little bit. Yeah, you know, because like we needed a breather. Yeah, from, from that first match, we needed from a breather. The free, right, and, and you were still like, high off of that first match, even during Dakota Kai and Tegan Knox match, you still was like, holy shit. 
So yeah, yeah, you there, there, needed there that. was there was really no lull for the uh, for the Dakota Kai Tegan Knox match because no. like because like if if you were at ten for Keith Lee's match, then like Dakota Kai has only brought you maybe to like a seven and a half, or and eight, it was still yeah. it was still there. Yeah. So like at the start of this match, it was like okay, we got a little bit, like, we can now relax. Yeah. And then like once the second half of this match hit. It That's what it was like. Yeah, incredibly. Yeah, they pumped up the cardio. So it was like, yeah, now we need to punch you guys back up. Oh yes, and yes, that's indeed. what they did. Johnny Gargano is a treasure. He is oh, an God. absolute treasure when he's, when he's in the wrestling a, in a, the wrestling ring. And Finn Balor is just a oh, Finn Balor didn't, didn't didn't skip a beat. He needed this. He like, did. He, he needed for he needed for drop back down. Uh, the NXT because like the way that they had him on the main roster, he was smiling. He was just he was just happy to be here. Yeah, and like it works in some respects, yeah. but like if you don't let him do anything, that sm- that lost. smiley gimmick just kind of just disappears. And he's just yeah. another Apollo Cruz or or Cedric Alexander. We're yeah. just like I'm happy to be here, a happy baby face, and it's like that's a waste of talent. That's a waste of a good storyteller. That's yeah. a waste of a you know, a very charismatic guy. And he showed just how charismatic he could be. And he showed just how much they dropped the ball on him on the main roster. Because, yeah. like, this dude was going a hundred. The, like, the very second that things started getting jumping. Yeah. Started jumping off on this match. He was going a hundred the whole time. He was and, stopping. Yeah, we, we had our aunt sitting over here because yeah. she apparently loves Finn Balor. Uh, Finn Balor's abs. From his tongue to his, his abs. Abdominal, uh, abdominals. That yeah, to his behind, See, and we're gonna. I wasn't, I wasn't gonna. There. I wasn't gonna go there. I mean, I that's what there, that but, was. Cor- you know, that's whatever. what was corresponding during the match. <laughs> we're gonna stop it there because any other, it will be visualized porn. We don't do visualized porn. Visual out. Visualized I'm just, I'm just gonna, porn, I'm where you can just ahead. visualize the porn. Yes, that's what that is. Moving it's a thing. On. It's a thing. We're gonna move on from that, but yeah, um, another top notch match. Another uh, another match with some amazing storytelling. Uh, there's uh, oof, there, there's a spot towards the end, uh, the climax of this, where you actually got a chance to see how Finn Balor really has turned uh, the corner, and he's no longer the Demon King. He's the Prince. Uh, obviously, a uh, a reference to uh, 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 Fergal Devitt. Yeah, like he was in uh, in Japan. You know the the prince, like he's now the prince, and he just does not give a damn. No, and, and I think that's that. because of the fiend. Oh yeah, the fiend really the fiend really the fiend changed really it. made a difference. And like yeah. I like I like that bit of long uh, long term storytelling yes. uh, that they've been doing for the main roster uh, with with the fiend. Uh, the way that he's changed Seth Rollins, the way that he's changed Daniel Bryan, even though he hasn't changed them in the way that uh, we we would expect, considering how. He's changed Finn and Seth, but everybody who has faced him has had some some kind of Kafka esque metamorphosis. Yeah, uh, with them and their character, and it yeah. works perfectly. Uh, the like Finn, I never feared him. Like even even when he was a Demon King, yeah, I was like, okay, like the face paint, I love it. The entrances, I love it. But like, if I was in the ring with you, like I I I might have to worry about how good you are, yeah. but I never fear you. Yeah. After now, this match, I fear Finn. Yeah, I fear you. I am afraid of this dude. Yeah. He is scary good. Yeah. He is scary good. Uh, but this was another amazing match. I you know I, I don't want to put a grade on it, but like I, we will put a grade on the the whole event when we're done. Okay. Uh, but but next we had um. That was a tactic. Now it's t- no, we had uh, the women's match first. We did? Yeah, I think so. I thought we had the tag team, then the women's match, then the main event. It doesn't matter what the what the what the what the what the what the card went. We'll, we'll just we'll just go to the women. Oh fine. I'm we'll, fine. We'll, with we'll it. do it anyway. I'm fine with it. Let's do it anyway. We're doing it freaking we'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live. Women. Woman, women, Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair. First of all, Bianca Belair, I, I, we, this is a giftable moment right here. Bianca Belair coming out with the, the Black History Month tights that made her look thick as hell. Yeah, I have a major Thicker crush. than a snicker. Yep, I have a major crush. And then with the cape that says Black History in the Making. Major crush on Bianca. Oh my God, I loved it. It was it was one of the best things ever. And I, and I fell in love with it. She comes down to the ring, and I'm just like, this match is already my match of the night. Yeah. Just because of how how O-faced I was yeah. for that. 
Yeah. And then Rhea Ripley comes out, does her Rhea Ripley thing. And this was, this was... So, Another high energy match. So Bianca Belair has had, I want to say, one uh, women's championship match. No, I think she's had two. L- let me finish. One oh, okay. women's championship match that's been one on one. Oh, okay, yeah. Because she's been in like some triple threats and fatal four ways. Yeah, but yeah. like this is, I think this was like the only one that she's had that's been. Uh, she's she's had like one before that was one on one, and that was yeah. against Shayna Baszler, uh, and that's when she whipped Shayna so hard she like lacerated her tummy. Yeah. It was yeah. like that. I love that match, but like at that time, you could tell that like Bianca was still growing as a, a star. She wasn't like quite where she could be. She yeah. had she had a lot of ceiling to reach. Yeah, you could because uh, with this match, you told uh, you saw a complete difference oh, in Bianca's different. wrestling. It was different. Like yeah. like uh, so if Keith Lee had his little mini coronation the way that he uh, did during Survivor Series, the lead up to Survivor Series yeah. and Royal Rumble, where he shows up and puts on an amazing show and gets a bunch of casual fans and the fans for the main roster looking at him. Bianca Belair is doing the same damn thing yeah. during the same damn time. Uh, uh, the uh, Royal Rumble will lead up to uh, Survivor Series and during Survivor Series, like she was... That woman, yeah, she like, was during during the Royal Rumble. Like she had the run that we were hoping that Keith Lee would have yeah. during the men's side, where she yeah. was just eliminating everybody, everybody left and, and right. everybody knew who her uh, what her name was, right? And we have Rhea Ripley who uh, did the same thing, just but like dominated as she soon as was she came from NXT UK. Yeah, she just completely dominated, as you said. She was on War Games. Oh, yeah. She dominated the War Games team. Survivor Series, she dominated for the Black and Gold brand for that. Like, the women were just, she did that. She yeah, made them look like, yeah, we're that bitch. And then beat Shayna Baszler, who is now. There you go, who is now. her way up to the yeah. main roster and biting people on the necks. We'll get to that later. Yeah. That's another visualized porn. <laughs> another visualized porn, because that's somebody's fetish. We'll get to it later. Moving on. I mean, anyway, somebody's fetish, but this okay. is this was a high energy match. I was really stoked about this match. Now I will say, I I'm fine that Rhea retained because we knew she needed to retain. Yeah. So that's not my issue. My issue was just how they had Bianca lose. I kind of just didn't like that. Yeah, because it just kind of happened out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Like 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 uh the the so they said it was a riptide yeah. off the top rope. But it didn't look like it. It just looked like any regular kind of move to it the did. point where it was. It felt like the match ended abruptly with the three count. Because I was like, oh, she's going to kick out of that. Yeah. What? No, she didn't? Yeah. Okay. And I, I kind of just didn't like that. And I was hoping as they were getting to the one and the two that Charlotte would kind of just bum wash her ass in the ring and that be it. No, nah, she, she lost clean. She, she lost, lost absolutely clean. clean. But, and I kind of didn't want her to lose clean. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. I didn't want her to again, lose clean. Again, during our our predictions, we were like, "Yeah, let's 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 hope that Charlotte comes in and it's a no contest." And that's that's the way that I wanted it to go. But that's not what happened. Um, but Charlotte does show up, but she, she shows does. up after the three count. Yeah, beats the crap out of Rhea Ripley. Yeah, hits her with the natural selection. And, uh, and I think at that point, I was like, "Damn, this is not what." Because we were hoping for a triple threat Yeah, match I was like, I, we need a triple threat match because Bianca still needs to be in the story. Oh, yes, yeah, she needs you to. You can't take her out this story. But I don't think that she's completely out of it because before Charlotte, you know, made it up the ramp, she did manage to, you know. She did. She attacked get, Bianca, get, too. Get a little sneak shot in on yeah. Bianca. So here's hoping that the, that that story between the three of these women is not completely yeah. finished. But I'm again, hoping Wednesday something will go down. Oh, yeah, because we, got, we only got like four or five more Wednesdays before uh, WrestleMania. You know, yeah, before we get to WrestleMania. Yeah. Uh, but then again, this was also another great <clears throat> match. Yes. You know, like, the, the thing with NXT that they've been able to do has been to have, like, we've had four matches, but they all were great in their own kind of way. Yeah. Like, you had big boys jump in. You had a nice little street fight going on. You had a very technical, hard-hitting match between Finn and... uh uh Gargano, yeah. and then you had this match, which was like a lot Another of great storytelling, yeah. a lot of athleticism, yeah. and just a lot of just just rowdy ass women yeah. handling their business. Yep, literally. Uh, but with that, we then have the <coughs> tag team championship match between the Undisputed Era. We got, and the uh, Bruiser Wait. Yeah, we got a uh, what is it? What does Kyle it say? O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. How much fish can Bobby Fish fish in? Bobby could fit fried fish. Say with me. 
How, how much, much fish, fish could Bobby, Bobby fish, fish fry if Bobby, Bobby fish could fry fish? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Because I thought I was jamming. How much fish could Bobby fish fry if Bobby fish could fry fish? Say it again. How, how much, much fish, fish could Bobby, Bobby fish, fish fry if Bobby fish could? If Bobby Why? Fries? Why? We're gonna stop. Okay. Because you keep on messing it up. Well, Matt Riddle made it look fun. It was fun. They had a little nice little sing along. Yes. It. They came out with the with the uh, the, the dusty trophy yeah. and the go kart and the smoke coming in causing a haze. Yeah. And then that nice little tongue twister. How much fish could Bobby fish fry if Bobby fish could fry fish? Yes. And like it and got it, it was it was like it was already outlandish, it but was. then on the little sidewalls next to uh, oh, the, the, uh, the what Titan is it, the Tron, Titantrons, yeah. they, they had Bobby, Bobby Fish's, Fish's head face. on a fish, With the fish actually singing along to it going like, how much fish could Bobby Fish fry? And that's when he was like, alright, I'm, I'm done Good, with this. Yeah. This is enough. Yeah. I am no more. Yeah, that was no good. more. So they come down. You they they have to they, catch they, that. they yeah. call. It, yeah, you have to. You, you have, have to catch. catch you have to catch the beginning of this. It's it's hilarious. Yeah. But they come down. Uh, the match starts. And again, this is this is a nice little tag team match. Yeah. God, uh, it's it's not the most spectacular match because there's you know there's not a lot of good spots, but it's yeah. very solid. Yeah. Great match because they they complement each other so well because you know they got a lot of technical abilities between all four of these men. Yes. Uh, they are also hard hitters, you know, hard strikers. Oh yeah. Uh, submission experts. Yeah. So like this is just like a nice. This felt like a war. This felt like a nice little war that mm-hmm. we got to watch that had no real casualties. It did. <laughs> I mean, aside from the fact that uh, Undisputed Era did end up losing. Uh, yeah, it went to the Bros Awaits. I did go to the Bros Awaits. And, you know, again, during our little predictions, we did say that, um, you know, they, you could afford to, to, to drop the title, the, the tag team titles, because, like, they're the first ever three time tag team champions in NXT, uh, the Undisputed Era. I think they are, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, like, they, they can drop the titles and then pick it up yeah, later. They, yeah. And it won't do anything uh, yeah. negative I mean, to the this, titles. Yeah, because this match didn't do anything negatively to them. Either. Oh, yeah. No, no. This was, no. Just, this was just a great yeah. match uh, that, that really showcased uh, the talent of all four people. Yeah. Um, you know, a, a definitely a recommended. But, again, five matches all having their own unique way that they were incredible Uh for us, the the wrestling fans, the wrestling public, it's like it, it, it there's there's a ch- there's always a chance uh, when you come down to a lot of these uh these wrestling shows where it's like it's the same kind of awesome all the way up and down the card to the mm-hmm. point where it becomes exhausting, and you, like you don't really you, you don't really get to enjoy it as much because there is no contrast between yeah. match and match and match. They all kind of run together, but like all five of these matches so far have just been. You know, they had their own little unique way yeah, that, they they, that they stood they out. Did. And then we finish it off with uh, Tommaso Ciampa, or as as he is called uh, in our call, Tomato Ciampa, versus Adam Cole. Adam Cole, baby! Thank you. I, I, I'd have to sue you if you didn't, you know, give me a baby. You'd be in trouble. I will punch you. You would be in trouble. I will punch but you in the tongue. The, the same way that I was saying, like, uh, like each of these matches are are great in their own unique way. This one was, it, it was the longest match of the night, which, you know, it yes. had to be. It's a main it event. had to be, yeah. Uh, it was, you know, it might it might get called, like, a finisher spam fest and a kickout spam fest, but the, the reasoning behind it makes sense. Yeah. Because you have Adam Cole, who has never dropped the title. No. He is going on the fourth longest reign uh, behind uh, Bo Dallas, Neville, and hmm, I can't remember who's the Drew, Not Drew McIntyre. I think it's I think it might be Ciampa. It might be Ciampa. I can't remember. But like it, it, he, he's going on his fourth. Yeah, I kind of wish I did have my computer right computer here. Computer now? And for, for Professionalism, for, for, and like, I for told you that. Because like, yes. like, I, re- I remembered who, I remember he's number four. And he's like only like a few days away from Bo Dallas's reign. Okay, but like it yeah. doesn't matter who number one was. But like he's at, yeah. he's at number four. Dallas is above yeah. him. Uh, he's he's been like holding on to it by hook or by crook. Doesn't matter how he's been managing to hold on to that title. And Tommaso Ciampa, who has never technically lost the title, the title. Yeah, he had to give it away because, because of injury. injury. So like, of course, 
you know, what what might finish somebody regularly would not finish Tommaso Ciampa because oh, no. he is driven by that. Yeah. And Adam Cole is driven by by his own desire to maintain his hold as a, at the number one spot yeah. in NXT. So we had a lot of that going on. We had some... This was a match. Yeah, it was. This was a match. This was a match. This was a match, where, match. We, where we were screaming like, it's over, I don't know how many times, yeah, yeah. only to go, oh, nope. on a kick out. And it was, and it teetered back and forth because of like, oh man, there's no way Tomas can kick out. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. There's no way Adam Cole can kick out. What the hell? Yep. But this match, I, I don't want to say tarnished. This match was not tarnished. Because it makes sense. Because again, Adam no. Cole's been holding on to it by hook and Right. Uh, and he still needs to hold it to keep this storyline going. Yes, to keep this going. Because that Ciampa won, where do you go from there? Yeah, you just have Adam Cole chase yeah. again. And, and like, it's not be, bad to have him chase. No, but, but like, it's better to have Ciampa, who wants Goldie back home, because daddy's coming home, Goldie. Or daddy's back home. Yeah, daddy's home. Daddy's home. Yeah. It's better <laughs> for daddy to chase Goldie versus daddy having Goldie. I mean, for now. Yeah. For now. Well, at least WrestleMania. For now. But as we said, there was a massive heel <laughs> turn. So, I, fuck everything. I'm just going to just go into it. Yeah. So, Undisputed Era comes down to the ring. Uh, they ended up distracting Tommaso Ciampa. And you think it's going to be over, but he still manages to kick out. Yeah. He still manages to hold on and to survive. Yeah, he took that, down all of Undisputed yeah, Air he, by he did himself. It all. He handled it. He handled his business. By the way, Roderick Strong basically died from that little rope. Oh, Roderick died. Like, like multiple times. Died. He Roderick died multiple Strong times. Roderick Strong just died. Just like died on that DDT. This, this is like one of the best scenes I've, I've seen. It was. So he, he dispatches it with the Undisputed Era. He's ready to take down... Adam Cole, and lo and behold, who comes out there wearing a DIY shirt? Johnny, Johnny Gargano, Gargano. Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Takeover, Johnny Trader. He has the NXT Championship in his hand, and he acts like he's sliding it over to Tommaso Ciampa yeah, so he yeah. can use it to, to finally put an end to his nightmare of not having Goldie in his hands. Yeah. But he rips it away, hits Ciampa, and Adam Cole retains. Yep. While still wearing that DIY shirt. Yeah. Why like, Johnny? How dare Why you? Why Johnny? Why Johnny? Johnny liar. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Benedict Arnold. Johnny, Johnny the worst. Johnny douchebag. Johnny douchebag. How dare you? But, but we still a, love you because it makes sense. It, it makes sense because how, how many times the Chopper did that to him? And he's oh, never, a lot. He's never really had his comeuppance for that. Like, like they're, they're, they've had matches, but Chopper's always won them. Yeah. J uh, Johnny's never really, like, really gone over to Muscle Champion because by the time that that was a that was a possibility to have happened, he got injured. Yeah. He, he got, got injured. injured, and then they had a match together, and then now the title run. And now they're like, oh, hey, yeah. hey, we're back together. And I'm like, that was a... I didn't mind the resolution, but like no. when, when you think about it in retrospect, there was no resolution. resolution. It's just it, it, it doesn't there was play. no no. And then him going with and then Johnny Gargano having a match with Finn Balor and, and Finn Balor being changed by the Fiend. I think Finn Balor changed Gargano. It's like a virus going yeah. through WWE right now because when Finn won his match, he didn't just win and get his hand raised. Yeah, he sat on top of Johnny as somebody slash fiction. Uh, he sat on top of Johnny like rubbing what his more? face. Into the fact that he lost. He, yeah. He humiliated Johnny. He did. In that brief moment where he's like, I'm better than you. Yeah. And that might have been enough to make Johnny snap and yeah. just go, okay, I can't do this because I've never had that resolution. Right. I've never, I, I'm still Johnny nice guy. Yeah. I'm still Johnny, Johnny wrestling. I'm still yeah. Johnny smiles every time. And I can't get over that trauma caused by Tommaso Ciampa just ruining everything for me. Yeah. Never being able to beat him. And it makes sense that because of that lack of resolution, he's now going after Tommaso Ciampa. Yep. So that really makes uh that really makes the storyline going forward. It does. It complicates it. it. Oh, it's very complicated it. and I love it. I love it when the title uh, when the title race is very complicated yeah. with a lot of personal storylines going yeah. on. And that's what's happening right here uh with that. But that's basically what had happened. What during, had happened was during NXT Takeover Portland, um, 
And as I said, this is this is definitely a must see. Like, if you had to give it a letter grade, what would you give it? Oh, A minus. Yeah, I'm 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 going for a solid A. Like this was this was a great pay per view. It made it didn't make me feel mad for staying up. Other pay per views on Sundays make me feel mad for staying up. Like Royal you know? Rumble. I mean, like Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble was actually pretty good. I hated the first half of the men's. And I hated the very end of the women's, but like yeah. the, the the whole event was not that bad, <clears throat> which is which is a very uh, which is a rarity to be, to be saying about most main roster uh, pay per views. Um, but there you have it. That's NXT Takeover uh, Portland. What we have next up on the docket when we come uh, to uh, when it comes to a lot of our wrestling content, uh, we have uh, Saudi Arabia happening next Thursday. We have AEW Revolution happening next Saturday. Um, and we're going to be doing uh, a, a prediction for both of those and a reactions, a what had happened was uh, for each of those too. Yes. So, uh, so look out for us on, what do we say? Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, uh, Friday and Sunday. Yes. So Tuesday, look out for Wednesday, us. Uh, Friday and Sunday. Uh, yes. There's a lot of days. We got four yeah. days of wrestling content coming up next week. Plus we got, uh, a potential what happened was a uh, weekly recap, yes. uh, which would be starting this particular Saturday, uh, where we talk about the news, uh, what what's happening during uh, the week. If you manage to miss Raw, SmackDown, uh, AEW, Dynamite, NXT, uh, maybe even uh, NWA Power, if you manage to add that to a schedule, because that's a lot of wrestling to take that's care of and cover during the week. A lot of wrestling, and also stay tuned because we have some major things happening. We got a lot leading of up things. to WrestleMania, yes, including our dueling mic skits and okay. possibly a couple of music videos. Maybe, maybe, but we'll get to that. But uh, once again, we say make sure to drop a. Like on any of our content. Make sure they subscribe to the channel. Join us. Join us as your as our kaiju faithful because we do love having y'all here. Loving having y'all subscribers. Loving having y'all fans uh, who who enjoy some wrestling content. Who enjoy our our movie uh, reviews and skits and enjoy our our video games and a lot more stuff that we have uh, coming down the pipeline. And we will catch y'all later. Deuces. Wait, how do you say it? How much fish could Bobby fry fish if fish Bobby could fry fish? Goodbye. Bye.